Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Celebrity Talk with me, Shah, as always. And um, I can't help repeating myself. On this show, I speak to a lot of uh, wonderful people, uh, beautiful ones, but most importantly, talented people. And today, my very talented guest is the very beautiful Nadira Adnan. Hello. Hi, Nadira, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm very good, extra good because you're here, oh, okay? Thank you. So, anyway, uh, the reason why we have Nadira is because, um, well, first of all, she's coming up with a concert. We'll come to that later. But right now, we're talking actually about her how she came into the industry because the first time I heard about Nadira was actually listening to the radio trying to find out who she was was very this person with a very good voice very nice song <laughs> didn't sound very Malaysian so I had to look it up and then um, eventually I found out that this person uh, was half Indonesian half Malaysian all right and later on in the album we also noticed that you mentioned you wanted to be a doctor your dreams of becoming a doctor yeah. still there but this singing thing happened so could you tell Tell us a bit, how did this happen? So, um, I started my career in Indonesia. I started there because I'm studying medicine there, so I spent more time in Indonesia. So, doors opened up there first before I opened up here. So, I started meeting with songwriters, directors, producers, and like, so that's how it started. I recorded my album and... And you work with big songwriters there, right? Kinda. Okay. <laughs> Ahmad Dani is one yeah. of them, yes, of course. So, I did all of this while studying um, in math school. But I started, when I was recording, it was before I started math school. So like, I, that's where I packed everything up, like finished all the recording, then I started math school. And that's where I started doing all the promos, like picking the album covers and stuff like that. So That's how it happened. Yeah. All right. Now, um, getting back to math school. So you mentioned you, you, you started before math school, then you went to math school. So that means right now you're still studying medicine. Med school, yeah. Okay. And how long will it take for you to end the whole wow. shebang, you know? Um, inshallah, uh, I'm already finishing my first year. Okay. So inshallah, it will be done in four years. Okay. So Nadira, eventually, are we going to see Nadira the doctor or are we going to see Nadira the singer? You're going to see Nadira the singing doctor, I hope. You really want to do that? You want to be <laughs> yeah. a singing doctor? Yeah. Okay. I really want to. Because uh, we also know that, like, like I said, you work with really big uh, music producers in Indonesia, mm -hmm. like Ahmad Dhani, uh, Formula Dewa, and... Um, we saw that your video was shot overseas. Yeah. Uh, it was done abroad, actually, yeah. in a few different countries, yeah. right? I, I was actually, I was doing it while I was on holiday with my parents. Oh, very clever. So, like, my mom was oh, just like, yeah, yeah, so I was like, why don't you just do it while doing it? And I was like, okay. So, a few songs was done at the same time with the same model, which is one of my best friends, Brandon Salim, as well. And it was really fun because it was just like us playing around, just like sightseeing. And then, like, when the, when the cameraman saw something, like, worth taking in a you know in a video he'll be like oh my god that's nice let's like stop and like do a, a mouth your song okay well um okay that's about your song your video the other thing is i guess i have to ask being the journalist that i am uh the high profile that you have all right mm -hmm. so, some malaysians were not aware at the beginning like i said all of them thought you were indonesian totally yeah. And then eventually we found out, oh, her father's our president minister of federal territories, okay? <laughs> so everyone was a bit surprised, like, oh, her dad's a minister. But the good thing is you never flaunted that fact and you never mentioned who your dad was. Yeah. But how does it feel now that Malaysians in general, they know, oh, Nadira is the daughter of so-and-so, you know? How has that treated you well, as an upcoming singer? I mean, um, one of the reasons I started there was because I wanted to get away from my dad's shadow. I mean, when I'm there, I'm under my mom's shadow, which is actually not what I wanted to be, but I mean... Just for your information, fun fact number two, her mom was a big Indonesian actress <laughs> way back in the 80s, <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. But I think when I watched the show, a lot of people didn't know that your mom was any yeah, as well, like, yes. It was still okay because she was, in, she was famous in the 80s where like people who know her, like who knew her, are like people who are like older and you know. So back to my dad. Um, I mean, I wanted to be away from my parents' shadows and like be known for who I am. I mean, it was, it started well at the beginning, but there's Google now, you know, internet, it's all advanced and stuff like that. So like people, of course, people are going to find out. I mean, I'm not going to be hypocritical and say um, they didn't help me in all this. Of course they did. They're all, they're very supportive in like financial wise and in other perspective as well but there's like negative in that as well because I have to juggle my name more okay. I have I can't do whatever I want I mean um, like celebrities like you know you have to take care of what you say I have to be extra careful with that because of my parents name you know like if I say something wrong it's not just that I'm bringing myself down I'm bringing my whole family down I'm bringing my dad down I'm bringing my mom down so that's like the risk 
of having my dad. Okay, but so far you've been accepting the whole fact. I mean, it's been going well. I suppose after the people generally yeah. have found out. I mean, people people are gonna judge. They're gonna say like, "Ala Najer have it easy." You know, her dad is blah blah blah. Her mom is blah blah blah. Doors open up easily. I mean. Yeah, then again, I'm going to say, I'm not going to be hypocritical and say their names didn't help, you know, my door, my, like the doors to be open for me. But I walked in myself. There's, that's an effort to go in that door. You know, it's a lot of work too. That's what people don't know. So, yeah. so that's why I, I had to re reiterate the fact that when you came, nobody knew about yeah. your parents, you know. Even the Indonesians, I was surprised that way back when I watched the show, uh, I was in Indonesia watching one of the talk shows, mm -hmm. and when they asked, who's your mom? And they say, oh, how is it that you're Malaysian but you speak Indonesian so well? And when you explain to them that your mom is actually Indonesian and you told them your mom is an actress, they're like, oh, they didn't even know. Yeah. So I'm guessing, yeah, like you said, you must have done quite well to, to put in your own effort. Yeah. But of course, like you said, things will leak eventually. Now, thinking, uh, talking about things will leak, uh, the thing I'm going to leak now is about her concert. She's got a concert coming up called yeah. Chinta. The Chinta concert is going to happen at the Istana Budaya in Kuala Lumpur. And it features some really big names. So I shall let Nadira tell us who are these big names. Yeah. And tell us why did you choose these people to collaborate with you for the concert. Let me tell you why first. Because okay. this big name, I look up to them like I really look up to them because okay. one of them, Yuna, is like, I think when I see her, it's like, oh my God, I want to like, like I see like her hard work and her like her genre is very very unique you know her voice is very very unique and when I look at her I'm just like wow you know like I want to follow her footsteps like you know how she like go abroad and like she was very brani in a way that she was really brave that her, her voice was really unique and it was a really big risk and yet she did it okay. so that's why you know okay. one of them let's go to Amy Search okay. he's like a legend I he's a He's an icon. He's like a Malaysian legend, you know. Like, and I was in the same. I was in an event where he sang at the same. We didn't sing together, but he was there as well. And like, wow, you know, I saw the crowd look at him, and I, I think I felt what they felt, you know. And it was so, it was so mesmerizing that, you know. Okay. So Yuna, Amy Search. Search, and No Sale. Okay. No Sale. No No Hujan, no, I think. Hujan, yeah. Actually, yes. yeah. No Hujan. And why no? What? So I got an opportunity to sing with him at this event before and like he's such like his songs is like so good and like how he make the crowd feel alive and like how he connects with the audience and like he made me feel like because I was I was I'm new in this you know I'm new in this so like he helped me like not feel nervous and he helped me like feel you know you have to have fun he's like that cool and like you know, well, he's on, cool. Like no, he's very cool. Yeah, Chilled yeah. and everything, right? Yeah. Okay. And the next one, which is Joe Flizzo. I think like his genre in music, it's my kind of genre. You know, I really like because I I'm really into hip hop R and B, and that's where he's like going now. And um, when I look, when I listen to his music, I'm like, wow. You know, when my mom asked me, Dira, uh, if you want to collab with someone in um, Malaysia, who would be? I'll be like, Joe, mom, Joe, of course, for sure. Especially like. He's people like youngsters nowadays look at look up to him actually like he's a role model nowadays you know, and the last one which is Al Ghazali which yeah. is you know I started off my career singing with him, so I'm really glad that he's here to support me and help me in my first big concert. So let's see, I have said fun fact number one, fun fact number two. I think that was fun fact number three. Al Ghazali is actually the son to Ahmad Dani, yeah. iconic music producer, legendary from Dewa in Indonesia. Yeah. So um, he started a music career as well. So he will be joining you for the concert in Malaysia. All right, okay. So that's it. Very big names. And you know, you got the right posse to hang out for your <laughs> concert actually, you know. And um, this concert is happening on the 19th, 19th and 20th, 20th of, August of August at the Sana Braya. Yeah. All right. And it's going to have me, Nadir Adnan, Yuna Joe Flizzo, Amy Search, Al Ghazali and No Saleh. Because if you've been driving around KL and you notice all these <laughs> modern electronic billboards, little ads, They've been promoting the concert as well. Yeah. And from what I heard, the first day of the concert is almost sold out or something. Yeah, yeah. Yes. The first day is almost sold out, so it's just the second day. I'm shocked myself. Because, okay. you know, it's my first big concert and I have my insecurities. I'm really scared. And like being in the same stage as all these big names, it's like, oh my God, you know, people are going to compare, people are going to talk. Yeah. So. so that's the thing I wanted to ask you. You know, people will be comparing you. Yeah. You're singing with Amy Search, you're singing with Yuna, No Saleh, Joe Frizo is going to rap and everything. Yeah. So, 
aren't you worried that you know what's going to happen after that they're bound to compare you to all these big names oh, yeah. you, you plan to sing with that night yeah so it's like i mean then again it's like i'm very it's like all these mixed feelings and like i'm like excited i'm happy i'm scared i'm insecure like so i really don't know how to feel right now but like i think they're all very supportive they're like especially um i've practiced most with amy search now he's always uh he always said it's okay this is your night this is your night we're there to support you like tell us like if anything is uncomfortable he said that and no it's like um even on my instagram page he's just like i was posting a picture of me studying like uh just my books and he commented um uh, he was like practice practice the song we're gonna sing he was like practice now and then i'm like practicing he was like practice now oh and then i'm like practicing oh on repeat and then he, so he's like he keep on telling me practice practice and like i think you'll you'll be all right you know are you going to commute back and forth and keep um, doing this move on to the next album i mean what's next for me like i do commute back and forth because my parents are here so like when i'm back here i usually do a little promos and stuff like that okay. but for my like what snack and what's next in my music like we don't know i don't know but um there's like little few like song right like songs i want to do new songs i want to make but not an album not an album for sure maybe just a little singles here and there okay so we'll be seeing more of nadira anan it doesn't stop here for sure right of course not okay because <laughs> if you have not listened to nadira anan you can google her you can youtube her you'll know what i'm talking about okay she sings in english she sings in malay or indonesian whichever you want to put it yeah but melindo yeah melindo <laughs> yeah she's got a good voice so we wish you all the best nadira Thank okay i'm looking forward to the concert Hope to see you guys there definitely all right uh, but I guess that's about all the time we have. Thank you so much for coming Thank once you. more. And um, for Celebrity Talk, this is Shah and Nadira saying goodbye. Thanks for watching. Yeah.